It is day three of Spookathon, and today I'm actually going to be starting off this vlog with an unboxing. So I have two huge, oh, don't flash my address, um, two huge boxes from Indigo. And basically, I've been stressed, <laughs> so to help me cope, I've been buying stuff, which is a horrible idea. 10 out of 10, don't recommend. Um, your bank account will get drained, which... I know, <laughs> but I also have some things, I sort of know what's in here. I've made a lot of orders in the past few days, which is pretty bad, but I know some of the things in here, and then some of the things are gifts from my mom, so I'm hoping she doesn't watch this vlog and I'm telling her not to watch it so she doesn't get full of her gifts because her birthday's next week. Yeah, next week. So, we're gonna start off with the little box. <laughs> So what? Oh, I made this order yesterday. What? What? How is it here? I just made this. I made this order yesterday. Indigo has great service. Um, so the first thing I see is Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, which I'm really excited about. I loved her book, and then there were none. So I'm really excited to get this one. It was on sale, and I've heard good things, and I'm excited. So yeah, I ordered this. Um, I also. <laughs> Why are these here? I ordered them yesterday. I was not expecting them. I also ordered the um, Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, the hardcover, because I got the second and the third book. I wanted to read the series for the longest time. I feel like I'll love it. The second and the third book, I ordered those in hardcover. Not ordered. I bought them in hardcover at a thrift store, and I've been waiting to see, to, like, find the first book, and I haven't been able to find it ever, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna buy the bullet and I'm gonna buy the hardcover. It was on sale online, which is great. So now I have my completed set of the Mar Dyer trilogy, so I can finally read it now. Um, and then they had a sale on a box set. So I bought the Six of Crows duology box set. That's really bad. I don't know why I did this. I ordered it last night on like a whim and it's already here and I've wanted this series for a long time because it's right up my alley like usually fantasy isn't my thing but six of crows I'm so excited about because it's a heist I heard it's really dark my friend Lena read it and loved it so I'm so excited so this is like the six of crows duology six, six of crows crooked kingdom and then it has both editions they're dipped pages, so then we have oh, these are so pretty Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Um, the box set was on sale, so I'm pretty happy with that. But I ordered these yesterday. Like Indigo is no book depository. Like they will be here so fast, um, unless you're not in Canada. <laughs> I assume they would take longer for you. But yeah. Um, now I have this huge box, and I do think I know what's in here. I think it's more presents for my mom that I ordered. So let's see. Oh, I should probably show you me opening it. Like, show me opening it. Okay, fun. This is fun. Okay. Yeah, so most of these are gifts from my mom. So. First thing I have here is a mug. It's all wrapped, so I'm not gonna open it, but it's a mug and it says mom bear on it and it has a little bear. Um, I'm so excited to give that. She's kind of tired of me buying her mugs, but I don't care. Um, and then when I was ordering my mom's stuff, there were these things I wanted on sale. They were comics, so the Riverdale comics. So I got volume one and two. So these were on sale. So I bought these because they were on sale <laughs> and I wanted to buy them before, but I'm like cheap. So, yeah, clearly I'm cheap. Um, so, yeah, I got these, which is fun. And then the rest are other gifts for my mom. So, this I'm so excited about. It's basically a Kate Spade recipe book. And I'm trying not to talk too loud because she can hear me. Um, and it's the design of it. My mom has, like, a whole kitchen set with this design. So, I wanted to get this because we have a little recipe stand, like, a little recipe book stand. So, she could put this on it. And I wanted to get it for her before, but it's expensive. So I finally 
want to get it for her birthday. So, and then if you spent a certain amount, you could get a blanket for a decent price. So, I got her a blanket. Um, yeah, got her a blanket. It's just a white, cozy faux fur throw. Fun. So that was my unboxing. Um, for reading updates quickly, um, because I bought stuff and I want to look at it all now. <laughs> um, I am having a better day, so thank you guys so much for the positivity yesterday. I had a better day today. Updates. I haven't read my two stories yet from Slash Girls and Monster Boys, but I have read about 40 or 50 pages of the Dreadful Tale Prosper Reading. Um, I just got home from school like a little bit, like maybe an hour ago, so um, I haven't gotten around to reading anything at home, but in between classes and like drawing classes um i was reading a bit so i ended up knocking out about 50 pages of that so i think i'm on page 70 or 60 i don't know but so far it's actually starting to pick up because at first i was like so bland about it i was like ugh. but it's starting to like pick up so i hopefully it will get better from there <laughs> but yeah this is so yellow <laughs> Uh, this is what happens when you film this early and there's no daylight. I love it when there's n Oh, wait, let me show you. I love it when it's pitch black out. Oh yeah, it's three by the way. I find it funny in my day two vlog, everyone's telling me like, go to bed. <laughs> um, yeah, five is good for me, so yeah. See, this usually happens, and I've been up since two, and my lips are chopped. Don't mind that. Okay, so today, I don't know what's going to happen. Schoolwork I'm pretty good with, and I, I don't know. Like, it's not like we have a ton going on in school today, so I might not go. We'll see. So I might do work at home, <laughs> because there's not much to do today. Most of it is work periods, and I can work from home but we'll see i mean oh last night i read my story from slasher girls and monster boys the one i didn't read two because i was so tired um i was participating in the little instagram live stream thingy that dylan reader five does which i love you guys should check him out he's great um so i was doing that so i was reading slasher girls and monster boys for a bit and yeah, I read the story by Megan Shepard. I think it's story five I'm on. So today I have to read three, which is fine. But this one was good. It was literally like a game with death. And that's all I'm going to say. And it was pretty good. Like at first it took me a bit of adjusting to get used to the writing. But I liked it. <laughs> so yeah. Fun. Um, plans. I want to get maybe like 200 pages into the Dreadful Tale Prosper Prosper writing. And if I'm feeling it, finish it. But if not, honestly, just get like a solid 200 pages in. Maybe. We'll see. Because um, realistically, I'm probably going to nap today because your girl got like four hours of sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, which is usually good for me, but I'll still nap anyways. <laughs> hmm. So right now, I think literally my whole house hears me walking around at like three. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna get a drink like I wanted tea or coffee but I'm gonna get my chai cold beverage thingy that I have in the fridge some editing maybe
my appearance in these vlogs is quite something. <laughs> but I got two more packages just now and I was actually reading in bed, but <laughs> the doorbell rang and there was packages. So I'm like, yes. You guys, I had a problem. I'm not lying. This is book outlet and then indigo. So I got my scissors. I know what this is. I think it's my manga that I ordered the other day because there was a sale. I think, unless I ordered something else I don't remember. Okay, not cooperating, great. What are you? Yes, okay, this is what I thought. So, we have all the little thingies that come in them. And then I, Tokyo Ghoul, they had a sale on the manga. It was literally 40% off, which is great. <laughs> so I've read volume one and two. I've read volume one and two, but I didn't own the rest, which I didn't buy all of them, but I bought some of them. So I bought volume three, um, is this four? Volume four volume five and volume six they were all 40 percent off and i've been meaning to get more of this series it's just they're 15 bucks each which is <laughs> really expensive so the fact that they were 40 percent off kind of made me get them so i'm happy they're here which maybe i can actually read these for the readathon too because it is like ghouls and monsters and blood and human flesh and all that good stuff so i might read those for that and then this package is huge i think i ordered like 15 bucks which is fun <laughs> i'm sorry i look gross honestly i feel like shit today like physically so i'm dead and lying down <laughs> my cat was here sitting with me and then he saw me bring two boxes in and he just left <laughs> he's like nope <laughs> pass Especially because I put them on the bed and he was lying there and he's like, excuse me, no, I'm leaving. <laughs> I've actually never ordered from Book Outlet online. I've been to the warehouse, um, but I've never ordered online. Ooh. Okay, so this is my thing with all my books. First thing I see in here is the Tominockers. The Tominockers by Stephen King. These are like the, that edition just the nice edition and I already have a copy of the Tommy knockers but it's like a mass market so I wanted like a nice edition so I got this um and then also in that edition I got the dark half which I haven't read or heard much about but I'm back I'm back from the dead and you don't seem glad to see me at all you ungrateful son of a bitch <laughs> that cool just sitting on the back okay yeah I'm excited to read that um next what I see here is Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. Um, I heard good things about it. Like one choice will cost her everything. If you break the rules, you'll be punished. And like, I don't know if you're flawed, you get like a stamped slash tattoo. They are flawed. They do not speak to them. They do not help them or you will be punished. Okay. So that's fun. This is the new paperback that came out. I actually think it's actually kind of cool looking. So yeah, the sequel's already out, but I remember when it came out, like the first book. And then I also have, I'm so excited, I have Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. And I don't exactly remember what this one was about, but I heard someone talk about it. I think it was Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads. And she talked um, just about the plot. It sounded so incredibly interesting. Um, yeah, I don't really remember what it's about now, but I remember as soon as I heard about it, I wanted it so bad. Um, okay. So then next thing I have here is Beauty and the Beast. I was so shocked to see this on the site. So I'm gonna open it. I have the Peter Pan in this edition. They're really fancy like interactive um, editions. Um, I really like them. They come in like plastic wrap. I only have the one for Peter Pan, but I love it. I've never actually read the original Beauty and the Beast, which is interesting. Um, it'd be really cool to get all of these actually, like all of these um, editions. Cause like I know they have one for the Jungle Book as well. I'm not sure what other ones they have though. So we have Beauty and the Beast. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Look, 
yeah it's gorgeous um and they always have little like interactive stuff in here so this is probably like a note nope it's a map map of rich city okay <laughs> And there's little like paper and stuff to like hold it, keep it new. Then there's this thing. I don't know what this is. Open. Okay, fun. I don't know. There's just a bunch of like random interactive stuff. There's like photos in here as well. Um, there's little things in here. So yeah, it's illustrated. It's really pretty. I'm really glad I got it. It was a really good price considering how much it is regular. Okay, so the next stack. <laughs> I got Nerve by um, Jeanne Ryan. Jean Ryan. Um, this is about this game and stuff. Um, I watched the movie a little while ago, and I did enjoy the movie. Like, it's not the best movie out there, but it was like entertaining. And I think the book would be fun. And it was like a few bucks, so I just got it. Um, next to that, I also have Passenger by Alexander Brecken. This is like a time travel kind of book so I got this um next up is all the rage by Courtney Summers and I know this one deals with sexual assault which is why I got it I also got a shadow bright and burning by why is my phone beeping by Jessica Clewis delivered that service um so basically, A Shadow Bright and Burning, it's, about this, it's a fantasy book, but it's about this girl who like can burst into flames and stuff. Um, I read the first little bit on my, it was really cheap on Kobo, so on my e-reader, it was like two bucks to buy. So I got it and I read the first bit and I liked it and the hardcover was a good price, so I thought I would get it. Um, I still want to finish it, but I'll probably finish it physically then on my Kobo. This I'm so excited for. This is what we saw by Erin Hartzler. This is deals with sexual assault as well, but I've heard such amazing things. Jesse from Jesse the Reader talks about this book so highly, and I heard it's really hard hitting, and apparently it's really good and doesn't get enough praise. So this I'm so excited for. Oh, we're getting to the end of the stack. Okay, then I also have This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. Um, I've heard good, good things about her stuff, but holy hell, this... Like, I knew it was like this, so I was like, I gotta get the hardcover because of it. Um, Salone isn't expecting to fall, fall in with a group of friends when she moves from New York to Florida, especially not a group of friends so intense, so layered with private tragedies and secret codes, and so all-consuming, yet that's exactly what happens. Okay, sounds fun. Cover's beautiful. Um, oh, we're near the end of the stack. It makes me sad, because it's like Christmas. Um, I might make another order. Please convince me not to in the comments. Okay. Um, then I also got The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. I wanted this since it came out. I think it came out last year sometime. Which the reason why I wanted this one was because Lala from Books and Lala talks so highly about it. And it's like, I think, magical realism slash contemporary. It's a debut. I don't know. I heard it's fun. Gang covers gorgeous. Wanted to get the hardcover. And then the last two books in here are first we have Dangerous Girls by Abigail Hayes. Friends for Life or Death. Okay, so this is like a really popular thriller. It gets like a good amount of buzz. Apparently it's really shocking. So maybe I'll read this. How long is this? Well, I mean it's 385 with like biggish font. So I don't know. Maybe if well, I'm not gonna finish what I want to for Spookathon, but if I do, then I can read that. And then last but not least, I have um, Tonight the Streets Are Ours by Le Layla Sales. Um, I read her book, This Song Will Save Your Life, and I really liked it, so I wanted to get this as well, and I was waiting to find the hardcover, and Book Outlet had it, so yeah. So there you guys have it. That was my quick little haul um, for a reading update. I haven't read much today, and it's like 12.50, so it's almost 1 p.m. Um, I've honestly just been chilling today and I actually finished editing my review for The Godfather which I'm not going to upload till all my Spookathon vlogs are up because I don't want it to be like I lied to Spookathon vlogs and then in the middle there's just like a random review so I'm going to wait so then it looks more pleasing. Um, I think I'm going to wait because I'm really happy with that review so I'm excited for you guys to see it. But um, yeah so for reading updates I'm currently reading another story from Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. I'm reading the one by Megan Shepard, which right now is getting really good. It reminds me of The Merciless um, a little bit. And at first it was really angsty and annoying, but I'm really liking it now. It's really took a turn. 
So I'm excited to finish that story now because the bail person came when I was reading in bed. So I literally went to the door like this. I was like, hi. And like, she's never seen me too. So it's like, did she, who is she? But anyways, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. It's light.